Hi, I'm Valley Gilly and I'm the Executive Director of One Kitchen Collaborative. I'm here today to show you how to be more efficient and zero waste in your own home kitchen. There is a misconception because we run a big commercial kitchen out at OKC that you can't do these easy steps to be more efficient and less wasteful in your own home. So I'm here to show you that we can totally do it. One of the ways to keep things longer in your house is to pickle them. These are pickled jalapenos I'm gonna to do today. You're totally gonna be able to do this and it's quick. You're gonna take one cup of white vinegar and you're gonna take a garlic clove, one tablespoon of salt, and two tablespoons of sugar, and we're gonna put it on the stove, and we're gonna bring it to a boil. So when it comes to a boil, you're gonna put the jalapenos in, and you're gonna give it a nice stir, and when it starts to come to a boil, you wanna cover it up and let it go for eight minutes. So these are ready, so we can actually put them in our jar, and that's your pickled jalapenos. They'll stay good in the fridge up to two months. Some of the other things that you can do to pickle, you can take the carrots that you have in your fridge that are left over, and you just slice them, and you're gonna do the exact same process. When you're cutting these, don't throw this part away. I know it doesn't look pretty, but all the ends, the peels, anything that you would normally throw away, we can keep all that, and then we put it in this container, and when it's full, we'll make our own veggie stock. One of the ways that I'm more efficient in my kitchen is to meal prep. And I know a lot of people are like, ugh, meal prepping, that's like a hassle. It really isn't. If I know what I'm gonna make and I make it all at once and get it ready, I'm way less wasteful in my own kitchen. This week, I'm gonna make a lentil loaf and I'm gonna make a bolognese pasta with everything that we have here. I put in the celery, onions, and carrots that we cut up earlier. Like I said, I like to meal prep those and just get them going in the saute pan. Then you can add those lentils that we had cooked earlier. I would add about two to three cups. You don't want to make it too lentil-y. Once you have those onions cooked, you got those lentils in there. I had some extra greens, and I don't want these to go bad, so I was just going to add them to this and let them wilt in there before I add my pasta sauce. So I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil, because remember we're using lentils, so there's less fat than if you were using meat, and a little oil and salt to my water. All right, so I'm gonna give this a stir. Another thing I like to use in this is liquid aminos, so it gives it like a little meaty taste without the meat. All right, so this is almost all wilted down and I'm gonna go ahead and put my pasta in the water. So after this spinach is completely wilted, then we'll add some sauce. You could add a little pasta water to this sauce or I don't like to waste any, so I put a little water in this jar and then I get everything that was in here and then I can pour it in. While my pasta's cooking, I'm pulling out the lentil loaf I made earlier. This was really easy. I used some leftover rice, some breadcrumbs I made out of stale bread that I had. We used a little olive oil, some onion seasoning, some maripois that I cooked earlier. We mixed it up, put a little bit of organic ketchup on top so it'll caramelize, and we made a really easy meatloaf. And we were able to make this and the marinara all at the same time. So these were two really easy recipes to get you more efficient in the kitchen. For more tips and zero waste or some yummy recipes that we have, just go to the OKC.org.